Konnichiwa from Osaka. Today we'll be eating our way through Osaka in just 24 hours. With must try dishes like visiting the legend from the Netflix series Toyo-san to indulging in the best takoyaki and okonomiyaki in Japan. Osaka has an amazing food culture and some of the most unique and delicious cuisine. You won't want to miss any of these spots, so be sure to save them for your travels. Now let's go! I'm gonna go get some takoyaki because that's what Osaka is known for. When you're in Osaka, you have to get takoyaki. So, I'm gonna go to one of the most popular ones here and see what it's all about. And hopefully, it's good. Let's go. Takoyaki. Hey, Wanaka no sauce. Hi. Oh, nice one. Looks so good. So we got the original sauce. And look at the line. Let's go inside. All right, this is Takoyaki Wanaka, and one of the most popular places to have takoyaki here in Osaka. So let's try this out. Well, it's kind of falling apart already, so it's but it's pretty gooey inside. So it's up. Oh, so hot. Mm. I think I'm tearing up. I think I broke my throat. Mm. All right, just to describe it, they put mayo on top and the takoyaki sauce is kind of like a sweet brown sauce. And they have burrito flakes and some awonori, which is like seaweed. Yeah, that's pretty much it for a octopus ball. And the octopus is inside crispy, very crispy on the outside, but the inside it's kind of like gooey, so it's Osaka style. But this is very good. And actually the sauce isn't that sweet. I think compared to like Gintako Gintako sauce, maybe a little sweeter. This is a little more on the um, saltier side, I would say. But very, very good. So, if you need takoyaki, definitely get a takoyaki wanaka. It has a rich history and it's popular in Osaka for a reason. They have a few locations here in the Dotonburi area, so check it out. Okay, so we waited in line and we're finally in the world famous Chibo here in Dotonburi. And I'm going to be having the mix okonomiyaki, which has pork, uh, shrimp, and squid. Super excited, and they're making it right now, so let's wait. Alright, so I got my piece of kumiyaki here. Looks really amazing. Looks very hot as well. First bite. Don't really have okonomiyaki much uh, in Tokyo. But when in Osaka, definitely get okonomiyaki. It is their soul food. It's a savory pancake. Loaded egg, cabbage, meats. It has the okonomiyaki sauce, which is a little sweet. And then the mayonnaise. And popped it off with the egg. Incredible combination. Definitely worth getting it. Try it here at Chibo. It's world famous. Locations is all over the world for a reason. Also, the cool thing about this place is they have a grill right in front of you, so it keeps your okonomiyaki warm the whole time. So you can eat as slow as you want, and it'll still be really hot and fresh. 
か三流で。This is Toyo, legend himself from Street Food Asia on Netflix. The food he serves is just as amazing as his personality. Sometimes you wait in an excruciating long line for a popular restaurant and just come up disappointed. But Izakaya Toyo is not that case. After your meal, you'll be extremely satisfied and wouldn't mind doubling back the next day. Unfortunately, right when I got to my table, he ran out of the aburi magro that he's known for. So just a tip: go earlier in the day. The other dishes didn't disappoint at all, and everything was so fresh. The freshness of the toro and the sushi rolls were top quality, and prices were very reasonable. Otoshi was a simple dish with crab, scallops, and scallions, seasoned with ponzu sauce, but it had such great balance and flavor, and was so delicious. All in all, eating at Izakaya Toyo was the highlight of my food trip here in Osaka. The street food vibes of eating on makeshift tables, the energy from the workers and Toyo-san, and undeniably amazing food make this place a must stop. アイスモナカ一つ、小豆入り。はい、こちらです。はい、あとえっ、ー、と抹茶モナカ普通のやつで。はい。ただいます。So we went to Tagi place, but their ice cream looked really good, so I got a ice monaka. This one is matcha, and actually there's a z u k i inside. The guy actually, the a z u k i was supposed to be the vanilla one, but the guy messed up and put it in the matcha one. It's alright though. So I think it's black sesame cracker. It looks really good. That piece of、uh, ice cream as well. Alright, try this out. Oh wow. Mmm. That's very cool. Really refreshing. The cracker is very brittle, so it cracks easily. Very light. Just gives it that texture and a little bit of that black sesame flavor, but oh, looks really good. This is milk ice cream and that cracker. Mmm. So that cracker has that traditional Japanese cracker taste, rice cracker taste. Mm. Both are really good, but I think I'm gonna choose one. I think I'll just choose a simple one, but the matcha one is really good as well. There's some more complex flavors. There's just much more. There's much more things going on in the matcha one because it has azuki and obviously the matcha with the black sesame. Yeah, I think if I was to choose, I think this is the winner. Just a simple milk、uh, ice monaka. All right, I'm gonna finish this up and on to the next spot. Let's go. I'm here at Kushikatsu Daruma, and this is the Dotonbori Station. It's one of the largest、uh, kushikatsu chains here in Osaka. I'm really excited. I've never had this before. It started in 1929, and it's been going strong ever since. And 
we ordered a lot, so I'm super excited. Actually, I'm really excited with the Wagyu beef shatsu. Uh, yeah, my mouth is watering already for that. Okay, so this is the OG beef kushikatsu, the regular beef kushikatsu. So let's try this out, I'm really excited. Okay. Wow. That's a piping hot. Straight out of the fire. Whoa. Very good. Very fatty. I don't say fatty, but see the oil in there? Firm meat. It's still very tender. Mm. This is a very good, just standard stick to get. Yeah, I could probably eat like ten of these. These are these are really good. Just like that, one down. All right, so this is garlic. So it has like one full flow. It looked interesting, man. I like garlic, so let's try this out. I'm just gonna bite to see what it looks like inside. It's actually like a like a pink garlic. Is there such a thing? I'm not sure. I've never seen that before. But it actually tastes pretty good. The taste is not too strong. Mmm. Very fatty and jumbled. It's kind of like crunchy. It's not that soft. It's, yeah, it's crunchy and firm. Um, yeah, it's actually very tasty. All right, this is uh, asparagus. It's like an L. Let's try this one. Oh, I don't know, like the asparagus is like super fresh. Very tasty. Mm. Maybe my favorite vegetable so far is the asparagus. Yeah, this one. Mm. Underrated. Chicken breast uh, and garlic. So I guess it's kind of like mar marinated in garlic. So let's take a bite. Warm. Wow, actually. This one is actually very good. Breast meat, white meat. You can really taste that garlic in there. Very actually tender meat. That's a dark horse. That one's pretty good. Mm. Out of all the meats, this one... Yeah, I might have to get another one of these. This is actually pretty amazing. That's pretty good. Okay, this is the Wagyu beef kishikatsu. The king of beef. The beef that everybody wants to eat around the world, Wagyu. So let's try this out. Oh man, you can even see the oil in there, the fat. It's fatty. Nice piece of water in there. Very tender meat. Alright, so that's, that's pretty damn yeah, good. Mm. I will definitely order another one of these. Yeah, that one is highly recommended. And that garlic chicken breast, Ooh. Mm. those two, good. You can really taste that oil, the fattiness of that beef, very juicy and tender. All right, so at every table, they have like this bamboo container and this is where you put all your used up sticks. So yeah, that's just one tip. Make sure you put your sticks in here so it's not all over your plate and stuff. So, all right, I'm gonna switch it up. This is a smelt fish. This is a whole fish, so you can actually see this side is actually the tail. So I'm just gonna go full on. Just bite the whole thing. Wow. The bones and all, you can see it. But very crunchy. Mmm, very good. We're going to the head of the fish. Here we go. Man, that is so crispy. A lot of um, 
protein and calcium for sure. Very nutritious. Very good. Wow. All right, so that was kushikatsu daruma. And yeah, I had a lot of variety of the kushikatsu, but I think the best one, as you know it, is the wagyu kushikatsu for sure. Very, very tender beef. And yeah, just overall, it's pretty obvious choice. And very reasonable price as well. Very reasonable. Food was good. Definitely check that place out. There's a lot of locations. All right. You guys, I'm gonna go to my favorite pork bun place in all of Japan. It's here in Osaka, in near Dotonbori. So I'm almost there. I'll be there in about a minute. Looks like there's quite a bit of a line. to my favorite dessert place here in Osaka and it's cheesecake. It's really good. So on to the next shop and it's actually right next door. And also the cool thing about both these shops is they're literally like one minute away from each other. They're all in Ebisubashi. So it's a really convenient place to have both these amazing food places next to each other. Right, so this is the pork bun from 551 Hodai. And I just warmed it up, let's bite into it. Hmm. It's like a perfect snack. Mm. Definitely understand why these are so popular. Definitely get one if you have a chance. I'm very addictive about the sweetness of the bun and the, the saltiness and the spice, like the white pepper, really comp is complemented quite well. You need to add on that that mustard as well. Very very good. This is the Rikuroji-san cheesecake. It's super soft and jiggly and uh, extremely popular. They also have raisins on the bottom. Let's bite this right out. It's spongy, very airy, very light. Wow. Yeah, well that's very good. And very mild taste. It's actually, this slice might not be enough. Yeah, it's like almost like like a sponge cake, like a cheese sponge cake, cheesecake sponge cake. Hmm. I would even say people who don't like cheesecake could probably eat this because it doesn't really taste like the traditional cheesecake. Very mild in flavor. I could only just say it's like a cross between a sponge cake and cheesecake. Like if they had a kid, this is what it would be. This whole thing for 865 yen, so not bad at all. Definitely worth it. I mean, if there's a line, there's two lines. One line, they have a line for the cheesecakes that were made about two hours prior, which I mean, is still fresh. But then the, the line that's the longest is the one on the right, which kind of like has a snake. And those are for the freshly baked cheesecakes. And everybody waits in line for that one. But to be honest, I think um, you could just get the one that's, you know, that was baked two hours earlier. Definitely check out Rikuro Oji-san, very famous dessert here in Osaka. All right, and so long from Osaka. What's up? Ah, okay.